Ghost Recon Wildlands is opening up a new province in Bolivia for the open beta. Fortunately, we had a chance to romp around the province of Montioc at a previous press event, and we're here to get you ready. We like bringing this content to you, so if you like Ghost Recon games, keep voting with those likes and subscribes, and after this video, let us know which of these things you'd like us to livestream first, as soon as the beta goes live. Without further ado, here are 5 things you should know before firing up that open beta. Keep in mind that we played an earlier build of this area, so some things might change. Number 1, there's a place where you can get an infantry fighting vehicle and backhoes. And it's right here. In the closed beta, we discovered a good assortment of civilian vehicles, several types of helicopters, and a plane totally not full of drugs. But what it didn't have is a tank-like infantry vehicle and backhoes, plural. The imagination goes wild with possibilities, but mostly around backhoe griefing your buddies, llamas, and the AI. We found a train in the closed beta, and we're ready to find out which one's tougher. My bet is on the train. Number 2, there's a giant underground military complex at an abandoned silver mine. And it's one of the coolest things you'll see in both the closed and open beta. Fighting through underground tunnels in the dark was like something out of a Splinter Cell game. The mission involves a rogue US Army Ranger who some on your team know and have worked with, which might indicate the story could take a darker turn later on. Foreshadowing maybe? Given the writing in the game so far, probably not. Also, killing the boss man nets you the M4A1 tactical, which we can't show you until the open beta starts. Killing major characters in Wildlands give players legendary guns. Ultimately, they can't be modded, which honestly, I'm not too keen on. In the meantime though, we can show you the legendary his or hers weapons from the closed beta. We need that chop, stay low. Number 3, there's a giant ass salt lake with flamingos and sick views. As we stated earlier, Wildlands is not the prettiest of games close up, but at a distance, it's gorgeous. This lake is a central feature of this region, and flying over it while watching flocks of flamingos peel off to avoid your pop wash is a treat. The lake in the beta is probably Laguna, Colorado, or the Red Lagoon. Number 4, Unidad rolls harder in Montioc than in the closed beta region. Wildlands has an alert faction system, and once you get that 4 star rating, enemy waves keep coming until you escape or get dead. So unlock a grenade launcher to down those helicopters about to rain on your exit strategy. Know how to shoot them down in teams with focused fire, or headshot a pilot through the side window. We also encountered a funny bug where enemies survived crashing and kept shooting at us, so heads up. Oh, he's dead. Also, anti-air launchers are more abundant in Montioc, requiring ghost teams to go on foot and deal with them first before getting choppered in or out. I recommend you unlock the parachute because you will get shot down from time to time. Number 5, New Guns to Tweak We played with some new guns at the event, including the FAMAS, MK14, and a Vector 45. They may not be in the open beta, but we will scour the map for new weapons and attachments that have to be retrieved from weapon crates. We've been dying for a good 8 times or 12 times scope, and we were able to prove in the closed beta that you can use unsuppressed long range sniping as a viable strategy. To enhance the gun fun, there are no tanky bosses in the new province. We accidentally killed one with a stray 320 grenade launcher, as it should be. So far, we're finding Wildlands to be a buggy but fun co-op sandbox. If you want to know more, check out the changes we want in Ghost Recon Wildlands after playing the closed beta video. So what's your game plan for the open beta? Sound off in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.